this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a quick video on all of the recent announcements that have come out regarding Magic. I was super excited today to put together a video on the recent Pro Tour. There's some really cool decks out there. It was going to be a very positive video. This could have been a great day for Magic. And then we've got a bunch of other stories that came out this same day. I want to focus on John Finkel, Brad Nelson, LSV, these really cool decks, Asper Control, White Green Tokens, Bant Company, Goggles, but it's being overshadowed by other things that are happening. I'm going to do a video on the top eight a little bit later this week. I'm also going to be doing a video on the major changes to the Pro Tour. Platinum players are basically losing their support from Wizards. Their appearance fee is changing from $3,000 to show up to a Pro Tour to $250, a 90% reduction in wages for showing up to those events. Hall of Fame players are moving from getting an appearance fee for the four Pro Tour events to just the one where new Hall of Fame players are introduced. I understand there may have been some need to restructure this, but it looks like it's all negative here. The one positive thing that was announced is a heavy emphasis on the World Championship. This year, it's going to be the equivalent of a Pro Tour with $250,000 given away. And next year, it's going to be double that with half a million dollars given away. I'm very excited about this. The World Championship should be the big event of the year. And this is a positive move in the right directions. It just appears they've decided to take that money from the Pro Tour's top players in order to create that prize pool. They've also changed what formats are going to be in the Pro Tour. We've got a full article here by Aaron Forseth talking about Modern leaving the Pro Tour. And I'm actually so unhappy about this. I'm not doing a full video today. I'm going to give myself some time to cool off because that's when I make my most controversial and usually worst videos is when I'm really unhappy. I really like Modern. I love Legacy. I know that Legacy can never be a Pro Tour or World Championship format because of the limited availability of the cards. Modern had really high hopes for me of becoming that eternal, I know that's the wrong word, non-rotating format where you got to choose a deck, you got to learn that deck really well. You got to watch pros play your favorite deck. You got to learn from the pros on how to improve at play. It reminds me a lot of the things that I love out of chess, where you can watch someone better and learn from them. You can have this shared experience. With standard moving so quickly, so few players make that personal connection, that they do in Modern and that they do in EDH. A lot of people have asked me about the financial value of these cards in Modern. Cards like Ancestral Vision shot way up recently because they run banned, because people wanted to brew with it, because they wanted to create really cool things, qualify for the Pro Tour and play in the Pro Tour because of it. If it's not on the Pro Tour as a format, it doesn't feel like a tier one real supported competitive format by Wizards. Unless a major part of that world championship is modern, there's a lot of people who are going to feel a bit betrayed by tossing modern from the Pro Tour. I'm going to end, though, on a really positive thing that I saw. Christine Sparkle posted and has a large amount of retreats and likes on an idea that I've talked about in past videos, which is I want to see a magic convention, a place where the game is celebrated in all ways, not just the competitive aspect. I am 100% behind this idea. I'm willing to do whatever I can with Mythic MTG Tech to support this. I would like to see EDH, cosplay, panels, altars, artists, video creators, learning about magic, becoming better at magic, improving at magic at the front of that convention. Yes, there could be some tournament side events, but the players and the ways that we celebrate magic should be at the front of that convention. And I will do whatever I can 
to try to make this dream become a reality because this is the community that I love. I'm still going to show up to competitive events because I enjoy them, but I want a convention that also celebrates some of the more casual sides to magic and some of the other diverse ways that we interact with this game. Thank you, everybody. If you've got any thoughts on this, please let me know. I've got several full videos coming out this next week. Take care, and until next time, choose the cards wisely.